Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Uh, Dr. Valian uh, Nia uh, for asking us to take part in uh, the event. I've never collaborated with anybody before as a poet, so it's very kind of lonely and perhaps self-obsessed. Um, so it's been a real, real pleasure to work with Nikki, and we've, we've enjoyed it immensely, so thank you very much. Uh, our piece is called Two-Headed Lambs. The great conductor raised his hands. The people waited, sheet notes, trembling. The great conductor dropped his hands. And each person sang the note they picked, and the blast was so discordant, jarred, the conductor threw up on his podium. The people sang their marks on the page, the terrible lines that spoke the shape. In the signs of the hedgerows between my house and yours. And they burst into flames, those flags on a frontier of change, and the lines were all burning, and they all stepped backwards. Gusts and the fire cracked, the people stood silent, till someone spoke fondly of the old songs unknown. Circle the fire, the hidden place, the song of the womb, the one in the church, a hollow in the woods, the hole in my dead cow's skull. I brought bad news and you showed me the weapons. Claw hammer, brass knuckle, Smith and Wesson. We'll need to practice, I said before they release the dogs, because it's here they'll run, these hills. Circle, Circle the, the fire, fire, the hidden, hidden place, the tent in the garden where I let Matt O'Brien an empty biscuit tin, a palm in a fist, the hole in my dead cow's skull. We send the children to the seaside, the sea being free, of lines with no harmony, no screech, no flame. When they got there, someone had taken it. Chris crossed it with ropes and small labels. And who then were they to say otherwise? The Song of the Womb. George Roberts, emigrant from Clanremire to the United States of America. My mother died in the year 1777, aged 43. I was between eight and nine years old at the time. My recollection of her is but small. I think I never knew any person more skilful than she in learning children. I do not think it is a common thing for so much love to exist between a husband and wife as what existed between her and my father. My brother John has written that he slept a night with her when about four years old, that when they were in bed she spoke to him about the concerns of the soul and that the impression made upon his mind at the time was never erased. Circle the fire. The hidden place. The ear of a cat. In a bird's nest, an egg. The vegetable drawer at the foot of the fridge. The hole in my dead cow's skull. Echo chambers. Echo chambers. We'll only, we'll only hear, hear ourselves. ourselves. But who wants who to, wants hear, to the hear the others? others? Who can, who can bear, bear it? It's rare. It's we rare to sing together on the on same, same stage. stage. And when we do, and when we, do we remember, remember we're not really, we're not together. really together. And the stage, and the stage isn't stage, the same stage. Or a stage, or a stage at, all. at all. It's an allotment. A field of allotments, seen from the train. All those raggedy patches, all those borders and beams competing for the light. The inflammable conductor wouldn't go down in flames or discordant notes. He raised his fist to the sky and he spewed, Keep singing, keep singing, it's the only song we know. So the people kept singing through whelms of black smoke. Where one might leave off, another filled in each voice according to its pitch. And still there was fire between them, these strangers burning with strangers. Circle, Circle the fire, the hidden, hidden place, <clears throat> a rabbit hole where the lamping dog waits, the hold of the boat that carried you away, a heart's four rooms, the hole in my dead cow's skull, the song of the Welsh black skull. It should be pointed out that some Welsh writers writing in English have faced particular difficulties when they have felt the need to emphasise their difference from English counterparts. Often this need has led to exaggerations of speech, the whimsicality of which gives lie to the thought. The word for belonging is a fused muscle shell. I heard them, the children, unpicking the beach. Kragen, a sound. Kragen, a gore, an open sound. 
A conch is a conch, and it's also the finger-shaped hum in your ear. Kragen vair, a newborn's cry, the luckiest thing that you ever will find. Kregen moch, the huff and the grunt, the churning and snort of a thing left behind. The children could hear all the songs of the sea, and the song was a wave, and the wave crashed over, and the sea was inside, and the fire without. They were under the water, the door and the moor, and is it better there? Throw me a rope, throw me a bone, throw us a child's ear so we can learn. The Song of the Bird's Nest and its Egg A poem about a magpie seen in Wales is no different, basically, from a poem about a magpie seen in England. And a love poem is unlikely, generally, to have a Welsh connotation if written in English by a Welshman. To put it in another way, there is no such thing as a specific Anglo-Welsh style or tone, and the Welshness of an English poem simply depends on what the poem is about. This is about you and me. Them. This is about us. And them. This is about them. And us. This is about we and you. This is about we are and we aren't. We should and we won't. We have and we will. We the many, you the few. We are the winners, you lose. Whose words can speak this dread? Fires, allotment, shells, but small. Fires, allotment, shells, but small. The hole in my dead cow's skull. The song of the boat that carried them away. George Roberts, 1830. You express a wish to know something of my feelings when I left my dear relatives and friends in Wales. And while on sea, I really am unable to describe my feelings. When I left my dear friends, I was unable to weep. If I could have shed a flood of tears, it would have afforded me great relief. I believe this was one of the most unhappy days I have spent in my life. The asbestos conductor lost the people in the smoke, and when the smoke cleared away there was nothing to see but lines on the pages still fluttering, and the marks on the page and the wave crashing over, and the hole in my dead cow's skull. The Song of the Kraken Shh!